Hi you guys, it's me Taylor and today is Wednesday and I did, this is my second vlog for Ty Alphabet. Um, so I literally just did this two seconds ago or a few minutes ago. So, so far you guys seen this part that I wrote down. It's the first part I learned and some of the uh, tips. So again, this is Thai alphabet, and I these are I think it's pronounced Mo Mai, uh, Dao Nu, and Long A. I think I'm not sure, but the new ones are this one right here, this one, the on this, and this one. So it says every syllable in Thai has five tones: mid, low, falling, high, or rising. And you can always figure out a tone on how it's spelled. So on the second page, it says, first thing to know is the class of the consonant. And all consonants learned, so in I basic, basically all the consonants that I have learned are low class consonants. And then it was a tip. It says, if the syllable is alive or dead didn't know anything like that that new like I said I'm new so uh, it says a live ending makes it possible to keep resonating the sound and the syllables that end in long long vowels are alive it says the five syllables that I have learned uh, only ones that can end the syllable make the ending alive and here's a First tone rule, don't mind the snoring, it's my sister. Um, low class initial consonant plus live ending equals mid tone. And it says mid tone is pronounced as a flat pitched in the middle of your regular vocal range. Example was this one. And then here's some words. Like this one meaning work, this one meaning boss, and this one meaning long. Uh, and then the tips are Thai doesn't have a V sound in like Valentine. So instead, Thai speakers use this letter or this one, better writing for that one, uh, in foreign words that contain the letter V. And then the last part I wrote is the meaning of each word by them each yeah each word by themselves. So I think it's now new. I think yeah yak and wa'an wa'en wa'en. I think I'm not sure. I'm sorry. I literally just learned that. But this one, this one, and this one. So again, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I will try to make sure I'm getting these vlogs out on time because, you know, I want you guys to see what how I'm learning this. And if you're ever going to learn a foreign language, then, you know, I think you should really kind of start with the writing first, especially if it is like this where it's, you know, different versus like French or something. French is... Uh, only two types of writing it's French and then it's uh, English so and I'll if you guys want an explanation about that I can give you an explanation uh, maybe in the next vlog so again subscribe like comment and share and I'll see you guys on the flip side bye bye